now let's move further towards recursion uh, recursion means when you when a function calls itself it is called recursion okay so this allows you to reduce the line of code in your code because the function it called itself that means we have reduced the loc by our coding logic and that also makes your code efficient so herein we can easily work around we can easily understand recursion using the factorial example okay which we'll just see recursion in python so let us create a function to calculate recursion we have passed the parameter num that is a number if number is equal to is equal to 0 return 1 else return num into now we'll call the function again that means recursion so we have called the function again but with num minus 1 value so we have we are working on recursion here so let's say you just call the function let's say we are finding 0 factorial initially okay so I'll just pass 0 here in the same way I'll work around different approaches let's say 1 factorial I passed 1 let's say 7 factorial I passed 7 and let's say 10 factorial for examples four values we passed one by one through call okay the function name is cal now oh, it's fine now I'll just run it you can see we have found the values for factorial how at first we pass zero factorial so cal function pass zero here number will have zero if number is, is equal to zero that means condition is true it returned 1 the output is 1 here that means 0 factorial is 1 ok now what about 1 factorial it has passed 1 factorial when is number is equal to equal to 0 no because number is having 1 now here ok so it will go to the else condition and it will return number into the recursion value that is calling the function again with a value less than the number this will pass 1 into cal c0 so here in 1 into cal c0 if you remember if you remember cal 0 was 1 so 1 into 1 will be 1 that is 1 factorial is also 1 in the same way let's say I worked around 7 factorial 7 factorial 7 is passed here it won't go under if condition because it's not equal to 0 it will go to else now we have 7 here 7, in, 7 into cal 6 7 minus 1 is 6 that means 7 into cal 6 now recursion cal c will again go here and will find values then it will go to cal 5 minus 1 then it will again go cal 4 cal 3 cal 2 cal 1 and it will calculate the result of the number with the cal function that is recursion and it will display the output in the same way it works for 10 factorial let us see the figure suggests the same way we found we found uh, the function name is cal c here there it was cal okay but the concept is same so first call went with 7 factorial then it was num into cal c num minus 1 that is num was 7 7 into cal c 7 minus 1 6 then it will again go and the next recursion call the third call okay now the value of num is 6 here okay so it will go inside 6 minus 1 5 in the next call it will go 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 1 2 minus 1 1 in the same way it will calculate the multiplication again and again and it, it will display the result of recursion so this is how recursion works